Welcome to Honest Jeff Reviews in the paraphrase words of Abraham Lincoln. I'm not going to lie to you. Hey guys, today I'm pretty excited. I'm going to be unboxing my brand new Harbor Freight Pittsburgh three ton rapid pump low profile floor jack. Pretty excited about it. You'll see why when you see my old jack. Uh, let's get into it. All right, here she is. Pittsburgh Automotive, that's Harbor Freight's uh, brand. This is a heavy duty three ton floor jack low profile rapid pump. Uh, I think it's two and a half pumps is uh, what it's rated at to raise your vehicle all the way up from as low as two and seven eighths up to 19 and three quarters inch high. So the reason that's important is if you are getting trying to get under a vehicle that has an extremely low profile, especially uh, most sedans, uh, it's hard sometimes to get under there with uh, a jack. So this is this is really important. This is one of the reasons why I got the low profile. So this is a three ton jack. It'll lift up to 6,000 pounds. Quickly elevates with the rapid pump action. Um, yeah, just overall uh, pretty, pretty cool unit. The reason I'm excited is because this is what I've been using for the past 10 years. I think I got this at Advanced Auto Parts. Uh, wow, yeah, maybe 10 years ago. Uh, it works, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a two and a half ton jack, but its profile is a little bit taller than the low profile one, and it does not go near as high. Uh, this one I think is only gets me up to about 16 inches. Uh, so that's what I'm uh, upgrading from. So excited about upgrading here. Going to show you the unboxing and what it looks like inside. So I'll start off here by cutting the tie wraps. And now we'll unbox it, take the top cover off, set that aside. And then inside we have a filler piece of cardboard that's very rigid, but just designed for extra, extra added protection. Got an owner's manual. The owner's manual is going to come in handy when you get to the point where you want to grease your jack does have a grease point on it this is the upper part of the arm the pump arm it's made out of steel it's hollow but it is uh, it's pretty heavy duty and then we have the second part of the handle this is the lower part it's also hollow uh, pretty heavy duty as well what I really like on it is the pad that that pad is very comfortable it's very thick very soft to the touch now I'm gonna take it out of the box it's pretty heavy be careful when you're doing it make sure you're standing over the top of it so you don't hurt your back. It weighs 60 to 70 pounds. So we're going to put the pump arm together. This is the lower end with the pad on it. it has a bolt in it that you need to back out. It's a retaining bolt that you're going to use when you stick these two pieces together. So the upper part of the arm goes in into the lower part of the arm, line up the two holes, insert the bolt, just tighten it by hand. I ended up turning it over so I could see the back end of the bolt go into the hole. A little easier to line it up. And then just, uh, just hand tightened it. I'll have to come back with a wrench and tighten it all the way up. Grabbed a 10 millimeter socket to tighten it up the rest of the way.
Total, I think it turned uh, maybe two to three times around. And it tightened up really nice and snug. And then the handle felt very secure and really felt like just one handle at that point. There is a retaining clip down underneath that holds the uh, pump lever down during shipping. So if you press your hand down on it and then just pull up on the clip, it will pop right out. So the base of the handle that goes down into the pumping lever has a square hole in it. And then you can kind of see down inside there, it's going to fit over a male square. Right before you do that, you do need to back out a retaining bolt. You can do it by hand. You don't need a tool. And then there's a notch there on the bottom of the handle and that goes down in there, pops in and then just tighten up that bolt by hand. No need to use a tool on it. It's all nice and secure at that point. With the pump handle in and secure, turn it all the way to the right as far as it will go and then start pumping. And here I'm showing you how many pumps it would take with no load on, on the jack to get it to go all the way to the top. And this is pump number seven. So it locks out, you can see it lock out there at the bottom. So it took seven pumps. And then to let it down, just slowly turn the handle to the left and the hydraulics let go and the pump slowly comes down. I mentioned that the pump has a grease point for the hydraulics, there it is. You can get your grease gun on there and just pump it in. I wanted to show you how many pumps it would take to lift the car up with the jack under load. It took me two pumps to get it up to the frame. At six pumps, the tire starts, the front tire starts coming off and you can see I'm pumping it up from right behind the front tire. Now the back tire is coming up off the ground, lifts up pretty high actually considering I'm pumping from the front of the car. And uh, total, uh, when I locked out, was 16 pumps. Got my jack set up underneath it. Just giving you a look here of how high it jacked it up. It was higher than I expected. Now I'm slowly lowering it back down on my jack. I'm gonna to have to get myself some taller jacks cause I ended up dropping the vehicle almost six inches back down onto the jack. And just a quick demonstration of how well the wheels roll. This is on a garage floor, so it's smooth, but it really does roll smooth. Uh, great, great turning action. So overall, I'm pretty excited about the jack. Looking forward to using it. In fact, I'm gonna be jacking up the other side of the car next uh, to pull the wheels off and start working on uh, some suspension stuff. But wanted to get that out to you guys so you could see uh, how cool this jack is. I had hoped it would jack up the car a little bit quicker when it was underneath it, but it still did it pretty fast compared to my old floor jack that used to take me about two minutes to pump up a car to jack it up. Uh, definitely it was much much faster and quicker and a lot easier to move around I really like that it has a wide surface on the base plate so when you're jacking the vehicle up you have a wide surface to jack from if you like this video click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel Audis Jeff reviews because I'm not gonna lie to you